Hi, Tamara Simons here, Century 21 Everest. I decided that we need to discuss buying a home in today's market. Uh, boy, it's tough out there. And the buyers are really finding out that, you know, time is definitely of the essence it when you're looking to, to purchase in today's market. So I thought I would give you a few tips on what to do, whether you're working with an agent or you're looking to work with an agent. Uh, in today's market, when you uh, are meeting with your lender to get pre-approved and you're finding out exactly how much you can afford out there, well, I'm going to tell you, you need to have a really deep discussion with your lender and say, you know what, I need to be qualified, ready to go, so that when I submit my offer on the house that I'm looking to purchase, there is no problems with my loan. They can do, they can run it through underwriting and they can make a lot of things happen that, you know, really lengthen that process of buying the house and make it a little bit shorter for you. And then pre-approval versus pre-qualified means all of your documentation's been done on a pre-qualification and a pre-approval is they've just looked at it. So make sure that when you're meeting with that lender that you are getting pre-qualified. That's your step one. Step two, <coughs> excuse me, is when you meet with your realtor and you sit down and you're discussing all of your options, this is what you want, you know, you want three bedrooms, two bath, two car garage, and you want it in Sandy, and this is the price point that you're looking at. Well, this is what you're gonna wanna do. You and your realtor are gonna wanna devise a strategy. This strategy is going to be Exactly when you find that house, your offer is going to be completely creative. You're going to discuss earnest money. You're going to discuss all of the things that, you know, that are important to you. You're also going to decide on how much you want to spend on that house and whether or not you want to increase your offer by 10000 or if you want to increase your offer by 25000 if you are going to pay your own closing costs or if you're going to ask the seller to cover your closing costs. There's a lot of things involved. <clears throat> you need to sit with your realtor and discuss exactly what's important to you, how much you are looking to spend, and how much you are not going to go above that. In today's market, Homes are hitting the market and within hours they are under contract or they are under multiple offers. So not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to arm you with some defenses so that when you get out there in the trenches and you're looking for that house, you're going to make some great decisions. Your realtor is going to know exactly what step to take. And hopefully I'm that realtor. And they're going to take you on this home buying per process and make it more enjoyable because let me tell you bid wars cannot be fun and if you are not prepared for what's involved with that you can be highly discouraged so if you will take these tips discuss in depth with your realtor ask questions make sure that you are completely comfortable in your strategy in you know getting that offer accepted by the seller I'm telling you, there's a lot of a lot of things out there that you can do and you can make your offer highly, highly suggestive to that seller to where they look at it and they're like, OK, this is definitely the one when their agent calls your lender, the lender can tell them this person is completely qualified. We you know, are just waiting for them to send us the offer so we can submit it and get the process going. I'm telling you, you want to be armed in this market. Without being armed, you are destined to be really frustrated through the process. And if you're buying your first home, you don't want to be frustrated because then you'll never want to do it again. But we can make this a very smooth process. So if you have any questions, feel free to, to give me a phone call, drop me a line on Facebook, you know, send me an email. Whichever, you know, pick up the phone, give me a call, text me, whatever. I am happy to answer any questions for you. I am also happy to help you through the process. 
I work with some great lending partners that are familiar with these strategies and know exactly what we need to do to get this job done and to do it so that you're not frustrated and ready to just pull the plug and not buy a house at all. So feel free, reach out to me. I would love to hear from you. If you're in the market to buy or sell, let's chat. Let's have a discussion. I would love to hear from you. Have a great day. Hope it's not too cold out there. Talk with you soon.